Taking a look at the inside pages, I'm going to completely change the tone. This is for all you parents out there who um, turn your back just for a couple of minutes, right? Especially with toddlers. Turn your back for a couple of minutes thinking everything's fine, everything's in place, you know, just going to, I don't know, grab the nappies or something like that, or just check that the what, oven... Wrap, so wrap a nappy? Grab... Oh, no. no, I didn't Grab say a nappy. Anyway, right? Um, this is what happened when a mum left her three-year-old alone with, um, I, I mean, Sudocrim. There are other antiseptic healing creams, I'm sure, but Sudocrim. Um, a friend of many parents and cyclists, actually. Um, this is Alba McGuinness, who's 26. She went for a shower, OK? And y you know this with parents. Grabbing a shower is difficult at the best of times when you've got young children. So she went for a shower and she returned to find Evie caked in Sudocrim. That is a so, proper mess. Pro and the thing about pseudochrome, I don't know how much you know about pseudochrome, right, is it's really sticky. It's really, really it's very effective for, cert for certain things. She had a jumbo tub of this stuff, right, and it's on the walls, the floors, the bed sheets. Alba, the mum, says they're all a lost cause. But she did find it quite funny. She actually looks like something out of a horror movie. Doesn't she? No offence. You know, uh, uh, no offence to the little to the family. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, yeah. But yes, that is a proper mess. That really is a proper mess. <laughs> uh, on a different tack, you know, it's uh, it's a new year and lots of people are uh, looking at fitness. And, you know, if they're, if they're doing things they didn't do previously. So, big piece in the Telegraph is all about uh, boomers. These are older people who find gyms a little bit intimidating. They yeah, just don't like yeah, going because yeah. they get in there and there was, there was a survey done... Uh, saying um, eight out of ten people find gyms intimidating, more particularly older people. And then I saw there's a book review in the Daily Mail today for a book, their book of the week, actually. Do you find the gym intimidating Which when is, you go to I don't the really, gym? I don't, really, I don't really go, so I don't really know. Oh. It's not really part of my world. Um, so this is a book of the week, and it's, it's called Let's Get Physical. And it's the story of women's physical exercise, going back right back. When did women start doing sort of organised fitness classes? And that's all about... That, that links with the intimidation about the gym yeah, as well, because, because lots of women... And it's, 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 it traces it back, and I didn't actually know this, to the 60s, and just around the corner from uh, Vidal Sassoon's uh, studio, a former dancer called Lottie Burke starts a, um, a class which is then exported to the US and they all get very excited about it. Apparently, this right. is sort of the first time it's been organised, in a way, for women to do classes. That becomes... It metamorphoses into jazzercise, which was the first... Uh, and that was just before disco came in, when Jane Fonda, of course, early 80s, comes yes. up with all those disco moves and the fitness thing. It just sort of follows through the whole, the whole history of, of fitness classes. Do you know what I've taken away from this? All I've got now, and I'm, I'm going to share it, and you can hate me for it, is an earworm. Olivia Newton-John's Let's Get Physical. Absolutely. Great, Absolutely. Great song. Yeah. Go over the heads of loads of people. But I was trying to look up what year it came out. I can't find it yet, but it's, it's old, huh? Great song.